This strange looking fish, with its big head and frog-like eyes, has invaded North America's Great Lakes. The round goby hitchhiked its way from Europe aboard the ballast waters of ocean-going ships. And as with any aquatic species that are not native to our lakes, gobies compete with the fish that are. One of the first things that they've done is they have eliminated essentially three uh, species, groups of fish. Sculpins, log perch, and darters have not survived the invasion of the round goby. Gobies compete with native species for food, drive them from their spawning areas, and even eat their eggs. They spawn several times from May through August, and once these bullies move into the neighborhood, their population explodes. Since game fish, like smallmouth bass, have learned to eat gobies, some anglers are now using them for bait. David Jude suspects it was an angler who inadvertently planted the new species to Michigan's Flint River and changed the future of the ecosystem here forever. These fish weren't here, and now we've got uh, 60, you know, 60, 70 percent of the population is around gobies. Gobies are popular bait now, and using gobies for bait, I don't have an issue with it as long as you're not moving them. Moving fish not only can introduce new species, but you can spread diseases, and this is something we've seen frequently across the Great Lakes, across North America, and across the world. The irony is, although smallmouth bass eat gobies, gobies in turn raid the bass nests and consume their eggs. Because they are such voracious egg eaters, some professional anglers believe that fishermen should not lure the smallmouth bass off its nest during the spawning season. Watch here, we've got a goby coming in from the right. Okay. Okay, and as soon as the male chases him, a goby will come in again from the other side, uh -huh. the, but the male makes it back in time to chase it away. Those gobies would start to swarm into the nest and within 15 minutes they could consume every offspring. The population of the bottom feeders is so dense in some areas that fishing for some species, like walleye, can be a real challenge. As soon as that bait gets to the bottom, boy, it's just boom, 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 boom. I mean, just instantaneously, when that bait gets to the bottom, they're there. Although round gobies are providing meals for some predator game fish, their presence may be doing more harm than good. And as scientists continue to study the impact of the round goby, it's not so much what they do know that concerns them, it's what they don't know. And the role that anglers play in this continuing saga is all part of the never-ending battle with the silent invaders.